the champion. But you have the champion on the ropes, man. You got him on the ropes. Roll the boat! Yeah! Chaos around the quarterback. I love it, I love it, I love it. Everybody get the gun for yeah! This we got a thing. I promise you, that game's a destiny. Let's go pick her up. Man, I thought you were going through the ceiling. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> We have the pleasure of welcoming in that incredibly energetic coach from Western Michigan who is currently unbeaten 8-0 this season, P.J. Fleck. Good to have you here in Bristol. It's a pleasure to be here. It really is. Congrats on leading the Broncos to the first top 25 ranking in school history. Thank you. That's a good part. Uh, you, you came from 1-11. 1-11. In your first season. Uh, how, did you ever think you'd be unbeaten and sitting ranked this way three years later? Uh, at some point. Uh, I might have been probably the only one that thought that. <laughs> at some point, maybe not this early, but, uh, you know, like I said, I was probably the only uh, – the lone one in the town that probably thought we could actually get to this point, especially after that rough uh, year one. One and eleven is is nothing to uh, to forget either, because it can form the way you run your program moving forward. And you become famous for your mantra, "Row the boat." So we're going to play back. How cool was it to see Scott Van Pelt do this on SportsCenter? We have the clip. I say, "Row the boat, row the boat, row the boat, row the freaking boat, baby, Maxin." Take the five and see what happens. We got it. We got it. <laughs> got it. Now, we don't have this just lying around. We didn't borrow Van, from Van Pelt's prop stash. Please I got to be me. careful not to hit <laughs> Coach brought this himself. And, yeah, row the boat right there on the paddle. And he beat Northwestern and kind of ruined Northwestern season uh, out of the gate. But we have fun with the mantra. How, how cool is it for you to see this? Really get nationwide traction here. Well, it's huge. It's huge, especially from where it came from. And it's a never give up mantra. And it's something that you don't even have to like football to actually use. And that was the whole point of inventing it uh, was to be able to give people who weren't even a fan of Western Michigan football a chance to be able to get inside our program, know how we're teaching our kids and what we're teaching our kids. And everybody can use it because the ore is the energy you bring to your life. You never give up. The ore stays in the water and you choose whether you keep it in the water or you put it back in the boat. The boat is the sacrifice. What are you willing to give up for something that you never had? The more you sacrifice, the bigger your boat gets, the more storms it can take. And uh, the last part's the compass. And the compass is the direction of your life set by whoever you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with bad people, probably not going to live a very good life. You surround with elite people, you're going to live an elite life. Where'd you grow up? I grew up the south side of Chicago, southwest side of Chicago, then out west. I'm trying to think if you grew up on, on an island somewhere where you were, it's just nautical theme. Just oh, every Lake Michigan right. was about as island as we get. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. In January. Chicago River, paint that thing green, we're good to go. How are the kids taken to it? I think early they were pretty shocked. I think as everybody was that what does a boat have to do or an oar have to do with a Bronco? And my answer was absolutely nothing. Like absolutely, it's, it's two separate entities. This is how we're going to do it at Western Michigan. And that's what our culture is. So I think it took a while. You know, uh, I, I think whenever you have a change of culture, it's very difficult for a lot of people, especially people that were there before, to take on something new, not only just new, but completely drastic that doesn't make a lot of sense. But when we should have been rowing the boat the most was during 1-11. and 11. And now everybody wants to row the boat. It's easy to row the boat at 8-0. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to do that at 1-11, but that's what life's about. Well, okay, life's also about confidence and energy. And you have energy, you have confidence, but you weren't confident enough to ask your wife out on a date. She had to <laughs> ask you. Why is that? Well, I'm not very popular in Kalamazoo. I'm 1-11. Uh, I'm single. And I'm sitting there thinking, there's no way I'm going to ask this girl out because I just I, I can't take any more rejection. I, I mean, the whole town hates you. Yeah. You're one in 11. You're a first time head football coach. You're the youngest head coach in the country. She probably hears all the things about you anyway, uh, where she works. So there was no way. But uh, we had a booster that kind of set that up. He said, well, hey, would you would you go out with her? If she asked you. I said, absolutely. And uh, she did, which I'm not sure why. I mean, she definitely likes me for who I am. I guess not what I do, because one in 11 is not very popular. What was the first date? Uh, the first date was actually uh, a dinner at one of our friends' houses. We just kind of decided one of the people Casual. we really trust okay. went there, yeah. had a nice dinner. Everybody kind of felt each other out yeah. and see how it went, and, uh, and uh, it went well. Power move. That is a nice move. Well done. Appreciate that. Uh, Cubs fan, huge Cubs fan. Um, 30 seconds. I want you to look in the camera and motivate them to a World Series title. Oh, yes. Men, you haven't been here before. You really haven't. Last time we were here was hundreds of years ago, 100 years ago. But tonight, this is for something way bigger than you. This is not only for the Chicago Cubs, but it's for the whole city of Chicago. 
the strength and the purpose that you can actually provide this city for the rest of their life? Not only just on the baseball field, but off the baseball field. Little Tommy that's watching you, watching you on TV tonight. Do it for him. Find a way to change your best. Dig down deep. Keep your oar in the water tonight, men. And all you got to do, Cubs, is row the boat, baby. Row the, boat, row row the, the freaking boat. boat. Row the boat. <laughs> How do you got right the battle there? there. Right over his head. How was that? <laughs> Little SVP. Now, we sprung that on him now. He, we didn't listen. There was no interview prep for him. We just sprung it That's on him. That's the hardest thing I've done in the last he four delivered, years. And you boat. nailed it, Coach. And <laughs> why wouldn't you? You're perfect on the season. Well done. We appreciate, appreciate it. it guys. Is this the beginning of your uh, Bristol day? You it is. Yeah, we just started this. This is really an honor and a pleasure. It's wonderful exposure for Western Michigan University, and we really appreciate this. What well, was the high point of your day? I'm not going to lie. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> we got you. That's what I heard. <laughs> Coach, thank you. Best of luck. Good to Absolutely, guys. Keep great growing socks. the books. Great stuff. I appreciate that. Don't Thanks fire a lot. anybody. Man, he's human coffee. It's tremendous. <laughs> and Western Michigan has a trip to Ball State a week from tonight on ESPN. Sports Center AM. Brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance.